Welcome to Park Avenue Laser Vision Correction. We're the only center in New York that only performs no cutting surgery. I'm the practice manager for Park Avenue LASIK and uh, essentially when patients come in, I acclimate them to the clinic environment, I do their intakes, if they're new patients, I tell them about the practice, I tell them about the procedure, which I've had myself. My name is King Harrison, I'm the patient coordinator here at Park Avenue LASIK. As patient coordinator, it's my job to make our patients transition from wearing their glasses or contacts as easy as possible to their ultimate dream of being able to see without their glasses or contacts safely. Dr. Chin is uh, one of the most highly credentialed surgeons in New York City. He's the only surgeon who has three Ivy League degrees. He went to Harvard, Dartmouth. He went and trained in his residency at Emory. He's actually a member of Mensa, the Genius Society. When he was in school, he, he studied underneath the people who invented the actual LASIK procedure. We do laser vision correction here, but we do it in a special way, which is without the flap. I had the cutting procedure done myself 12 years ago. And although my vision's good, I have some dry eyes afterwards, and I also have some glaring halos at night. The non-cutting procedure avoids those problems because those are generated by cutting the LASIK flap. The difference between LASIK and LASIK is one's cutting and one's non-cutting, and by not cutting a flap, you're avoiding all the possible complications in the operating room, and that's why we're the only center in New York that can have an open glass operating room, because we've actually managed to eliminate all the possible complications that can come during the surgery, and that's what people are concerned about. 80 to 90% of all of the complications you see with laser vision comes about out of the creation of a flap. Typically, that flap is created in one of two ways. You'll hear people either say that they create the flap with a blade or a keratone, or you will hear them say they use interlace, which is another laser that they use to actually create a blade. So it is not non-cutting. It's just a cutting procedure in a different way. The non-cutting surgery, the recovery time is actually a little bit slower, and that's because the surface of the eye is healing instead of inside the eye. So it's maybe one to two days slower. One of the benefits of LASIK is that by not cutting the flap, you avoid cutting the corneal nerves, and that's what causes the dry eyes after surgery. In other words, after the cutting LASIK procedure that I did, the nerves are cut, they don't grow back because people's nerves don't grow back and then your eyes don't blink normally. With the LASIK procedure, which is the non-cutting procedure, we avoid causing dry eyes because we don't cut the corneal nerves. The LASIK is also advantageous because you don't cut a flap, and then when you put the flap back together on a LASIK, my cornea is now in two pieces. If you can imagine your eye being in two pieces and the light coming through your cornea, you're gonna get some backscatter or reflection off of that interface between the two pieces. They never line up perfectly, right? So that's why I have a little bit of glare at night. My night vision's worse than it was before in glasses or contacts. With the LASIK procedure, because we don't have two pieces, you're not cutting a flap, it's just a surface procedure, you don't have any night glare. Our patients after the non-cutting surface procedure, they say their night vision's actually better than it was in glasses or contacts if they choose one of our high definition options. When I had my surgery, I had no pain. Um, the really great thing about the surgery was that we have minimized the discomfort that the patient feels uh, before, during, and after based on uh, the regimen of medications that they're on. Being that I had lace sec and there was no need to cut a flap in my cornea, I'm not dealing with the dry eye complications or the night glare. I'm so much more confident in participating in the sports knowing that my vision is, is great and the safety of my vision is not in jeopardy, then I'm able to pursue with a lot more assertiveness and uh, passion. What I would like you to understand is I was actually the first laser surgeon in New York City to have the procedure done myself. I feel it's very important that I undergo the procedure because otherwise it's unfair to expect my patients to do something I'm afraid of. It's the same thing with the entire staff. One of the things that we at Park Avenue Lace Sec are known for is every staff member is also a patient and had the procedure themselves. Therefore, they can talk about the procedure not only from a medical point of view, but also from a patient point of view in terms of their experience. I had my surgery on a Thursday night. I remember it really well. It was a, it was a seminar. There were a lot of people there. By Monday, I was fully recovered and back at work. 
It's very important for the customer to understand that we're the only center in New York City that has a glass OR. It's the concept of the open kitchen. The reason I can operate in glass is because I have, get this straight, eliminated every complication in the operating room. Every complication in the operating room is caused by cutting a flap. And it doesn't matter if you have a flap cut with a metal blade, which is LASIK, or with a laser. That's called Inchalase or Ilasic, or some doctors in New York are actually calling it bladeless surgery. Our procedure is the safest procedure in New York City. And if you go to an honest LASIK surgeon, and I have friends who do LASIK and they are honest and you ask them, is it slightly more risky to have my eye cut in half? They're gonna say yes, it is slightly more risky. It's about a one in a thousand risk that you're gonna have a major problem with the flap. We will never, never have a flap complication in the OR. We will never, never have a flap complication after the procedure and we will never have any problems in the OR because we eliminated the mechanical cutting step. Some of the patient fears being underneath the laser, not being able to keep their eye open. People are worried about recovery time. They're worried about the safety of the procedure overall, whether or not they're medically eligible. Um, a lot of their fears stem from the fact that they don't know a lot about this new procedure. We're treating higher prescriptions than any other center in New York City. That's not because we're more aggressive. We're actually safer. All the cutting LASIK centers leave as their basic parameter of safety. They have to leave 250 microns of tissue left afterwards. Now forget the number, it's not important. Everyone starts out with 500. They want to leave half of your eye untouched for safety reasons. That's the structural strength of your eye. We're using a number of 350 as the minimum. Now 350 is bigger than 250. It's a higher number. You have more cornea your eye is going to be stronger. Now how can we treat prescriptions that are higher leaving 350 and they could treat prescriptions that are lower and get down to 250? It's because we're not cutting flaps. The flap is about enough tissue to treat a minus 10. The fellows are giving uh, really unique care to our patients, being that they're all medical doctors. So they're all really highly trained. They know a lot about the eye and they're passionate about refractive surgery. They do all of our testing. We don't have any technicians here. We don't have any optometrists here. These are all medical doctors. They give cell phone numbers. Um, the staff gives cell phone numbers. Dr. Chin gives his personal cell phone number to all of our patients so that they have 24-7 access to care if they might need it. Prior to the advanced non-cutting technique of LASIK, Dr. Chin was still cutting flaps while performing the older LASIK procedures. Now, some of the worst flap complications could potentially need, lead to patients needing corneal transplants, which Dr. Chin himself learned how to do during his fellowship at Emory University. Now, these procedures, the transplants, could be extremely expensive, sometimes costing as much as $100,000. Dr. Chin is the only surgeon in New York that's currently credentialed with all the major insurance companies, so the test, the comprehensive testing that we need to perform to make sure that our patients are good candidates for this procedure can in fact be covered by their insurance, helping them out medically and financially. Park Avenue LASIK, we're the only center that can do an epi LASIK. What is that? It's the most advanced procedure available. I use a specialized instrument called the epikeratome, and instead of cutting into your cornea and making the LASIK flat, it just stays on the surface and helps me remove the skin of your eye very quickly, easily, painlessly. That allows you to recover in just one weekend. So after one weekend, you'll be seeing perfectly and you won't have the dry eyes or night vision problems that I have after my own cutting LASIK procedure because we're never gonna cut your cornea. Pretty much everybody who are in glasses right now and haven't had laser vision correction, they're not doing it because they're scared. It's really not a financial question because they're pretty sure that we can charge them the same amount for the vision correction procedure as they're now paying for contacts. Why rent your good vision for the rest of your life by paying for contacts when you can own it? You will see better than you do in contacts because our laser has the ability to shoot to the nearest hundredth. Therefore, instead of getting a minus two or a minus 2.25, we can actually correct your prescription to a minus 2.26.
or a minus 2.27. It's 25 times more accurate than glasses or contacts. All the patients that we lasered on LASIK, the surface procedure, who were extreme prescriptions like minus 9 or minus 10, they're actually seeing better without glasses than they saw with glasses and better without contacts than they saw with contacts. I have a glass operating room here. It uh, generates a lot of traffic down 25th Street. People want to watch a surgery being performed. I actually have the opportunity to stand in outside answering questions that, that uh, potential patients might have or just passers by have interested in learning about the procedure. Dr. Chen keeps a microphone in the operating room with him. He's able to narrate the procedure to, to people walking by. We also uh, we conduct seminars monthly where people actually have the opportunity to come in and watch a live procedure being done and get their questions answered by the MDs. Welcome to our OR. Every laser center has some complications in the OR, except for us. Instead of cutting a flap in your eyes, here at Park Avenue LASIK, we do what's called an advanced surface ablation. Quite simply, it just means a straight laser on top of your eye without cutting a flap. By avoiding the flap, we avoid 100% of all complications that can happen during surgery. If you went to a cutting center, guess how they're going to retreat you? They're going to take a tool, pop up your old flap, lift it up, laser you, and put the flap back down. That doesn't sound so nice, does it? And it's not that nice. You can have many complications such as epithelial ingrowth. All you have to do is Google LASIK complications and you will see 100 complications that can't happen in my operating room because I am not cutting flaps. We're the only center in New York City that has grown every year for the past five years, even during one of the worst recessions in United States history. Everybody is anxious about laser vision correction and we have several things that will really help reassure you. Number one, all our patients get Valium. It's very reassuring, it relieves anxiety. Number two, we're the only center in New York City that requires you to have a friend, companion, or loved one be with you here in the operating room. We're the only center in New York City that has nitrous oxide or laughing gas we give this to the very anxious patients. We bought a very expensive machine that's used for dental procedures. It mixes the nitrous so it can never overmix the nitrous. You always have sufficient oxygen. You don't have to worry about anything dangerous going on there. We are also the only center that lets people watch the procedure. Now, that shouldn't really worry you. The reason that people can watch is because we can't have a complication. And then once you get lasered, we're the only center that actually gives you cash back. So how does this work? Well, you have a friend of yours hold your hand in the operating room. Afterwards, maybe they ask you how they're doing. They come in for the free consultation, and once they get lasered, we actually give you cash back. It's just a way of kind of paying you back for sharing the miracle of laser vision correction. And we found that to be very, very helpful in terms of decreasing the barrier to find out more information. We actually have a very innovative program uh, called Take Your Friend to Lunch. And then if you do that during lunchtime, one of my staff members will actually take you and your companion out to lunch, explain everything to them. It's just a way to decrease the barrier of finding out more about laser vision correction.